hi all so in this video we are going to see how to navigate between multiple interfaces with the help of process model so for that we are going to create two simple interfaces for that let's create our first interface user details data so this is our user details data it will here we will map out the user responses okay so and another interface also we will create so this interface has open so for uh, starting purpose let's take a form layout only a simple form layout okay uh, and let's delete the section we don't need the section and we'll only try to keep only two inputs here uh, okay that will be more than enough and what we what we actually need is we need name and we will try to give it name and email id okay so name is there uh, and it is a text parameter okay and the another one will let's keep it email id okay just email is fine and we will keep it text value for this as well okay so let's map our values quickly okay so first of all we can see the label we can put it as user data and this is name so name field is there and this is email let's map the values so value is what rule input name okay and save into parameter is as well rule input name after that uh, the value here we will give it rule input email id and here as well we'll give it rule input email id that's it and what we need in uh, for our purpose is the user should be able to click next button and he should be able to navigate to other interface so instead of submit we will make it next okay now now uh, there comes the third Im uh, one important point actually that is if the user clicked on next some value should be saved somewhere so that we can get to know like uh, some button has been clicked be be currently there is only one button cancel if i click cancel this becomes true but there is nothing happening if we click on next so let's store our response in a rule input and let's say button so just we will keep it simple as button only and let's keep the uh, text okay so what we will do is when i click on next this next button should this next value should get stored in button okay so here only we will save the value so we will just directly use save into uh, save into yeah save into is what a bank save in a bank same we have to give two parameter target and value what is our target target is a role input button and what we need to save it should save next that's it so if the user click on next then uh, see our button rule input is capturing next that's all we needed in our first interface similarly we will build our second interface as well and that is nothing but uh, let's keep something as uh, address as we have kept earlier address details data okay let's make this interface and uh, we'll map two inputs to this data as well we will keep it form layout for this as well okay form layout is done this section let's remove this section we don't need it for now okay fine and here as well we will try to give only two inputs uh, let's try to give just city in address details okay and uh, second rule input we can ma map it as uh, uh let's say country okay so country is there so country has been mapped as well that's it okay so here as well two values should come here okay let's duplicate it fine let's map our values now so for mapping the values we will change the label as well to something like address details okay address details done and here it will become city and here it will become country country okay and the value will be 
rule input uh, city okay and here as well rule input city and here we will map it to country okay rule input country we have kept it and in 72 as well rule input country so these are the two values that we want now in this uh, form what we wanted user can submit the detail this is the second form and we are considering this as a last form as well so user can submit it but this cancel button let's change this to back button or we can remove it as well but just change this to back button that will fulfill our condition okay and when it is back eh, let's delete this value and save into i guess we can use it but let's uh, in order to make it similar to like this i am just removing it and we'll directly use save into so save into will be a bang save and what is our target ha huh? target is button value here we have not created a rule input of button okay so some button will be here as well and we'll make it text parameter okay and what is our target target is rule input button okay and what is the value when they clicked on button we want to save something like pack that is fine for us okay so let's test it if i click on back back is getting saved so this is how we have created both our interface as well now let's go back and create a process model uh, where we will navigate between these two uh, interfaces okay just name it as navigate between uh, interfaces interfaces so let's navigate between interfaces and now okay so let's click on create and we have kept the default say, security settings for now okay so once our process model is open we will map the both the interface into our process model okay so this is the process model for that okay these are the start node and this is the end node fine so first of all what we will do is we will map a user input task here and that is nothing but our uh, user details okay user details just map it user details now first e input task we will be mapped here so let's map it uh, accordingly as well so first of all let's go to our forms and we will map the interface here that is ys underscore user details data done that data has been mapped then ha huh? assignment is also very important for user input who will do this task so process initiator okay fine so this has been mapped properly if we validate that's also fine it doesn't give any error okay fine now when the user click on next button then what should happen so there should be next and submit so in our first interface there is next and cancel uh, okay so we will take an xor gate here okay so here we will keep it xor gate and here we will uh, user can either cancel it or he can either click on next button right these are the two actions which can be done by the user okay so let's uh, remove it now okay now if the user clicked on next button then he should be able to see a new interface right uh, let's map it somewhere uh, uh, let's say let's let's map it here okay so if the user clicked on next button let's add a label as well uh yeah that is our label next if the user clicked on next button he should be able to see address details right address details then so address details will be shown to him let's map these values as well so let's go to our form and here we will put it ys underscore address details data okay so that value has been mapped and in the assignment we will keep it process initiator so these values are as well mapped now okay so when the user clicked on next it should go to there and from here as well if the user again 
if the user click on back so there should be an another xor gate as well for that okay so here is that xor gate and we will uh, let's uh, okay and here what we want to do is the user can either uh, submit the form from here or he can either click on back button right two things he can do from here so let's connect to that interface that part is done now if the user clicked on back button he should come here let's add the label as well back button is done okay so all the back buttons ha have been done and now let's just uh, keep an uh, end event as well okay so we'll keep one end event here and we'll just copy it and we'll keep another end event somewhere here okay so let's uh, join it okay and let's join this as well fine so this is how something of a process will look but we have not mapped our process variables yet okay so all the rule inputs which were there in our interface will change into process variable first uh, interface has cancel name email button let's keep it all okay cancel is common in both so we just have to make only one type is boolean so make sure that uh, the data type always matches okay cancel and then it has name name is already a text value and then it has uh, email so email is also there that is text and then there is something as button so button value is also our text parameter only so we'll just keep it text okay let's move on to our uh, second interface it has cancel we have done button we have done city and country is remaining okay so let's make it city okay and let's map another variable as country done so all these values we have mapped now let's go back to our interface and save those values as well so okay if we open the data from here let's save our values okay and cancel will be saved into cancel variable okay and name field will get saved into the name okay done all these names are done email will get saved into email and here as well we will map it to email and button huh button we have already created a process variable for that so that is our button and button is as well saved so done for user details let's do for address details as well okay cancel will again get saved into cancel okay we have done that and now city will get saved into city and here as well city country will get saved into our country part and that is done and button is remaining so button will get saved into the button part and that's all we have to do now uh, let's validate once again do we have huh, xor gates we have not configured so let's go into our xor gate and let's configure our first xor gate so if the user clicked on uh, next the value will be next so similarly to that we will map our values okay pv bank true and here we will write it pv bank button if button is equal to next that's what we are referring in the interface as well make sure both values are same okay so if it is next then it should go to which it should go to address details which is our next interface otherwise it will go to copy of end event okay i have not removed that copy of end event fine that's it so th that is done and now let's move on to this as well decision huh, here so for the second interface if we go if we click on back button the back value was getting there okay so if pv bang button is equal to back okay if button value is back then it will go to our user details which is our first interface otherwise will go to end event now let's validate it once again we don't have any errors at all now one more important point is actually remaining if we click on next we should be able to see next interface right so for that activity chaining is very important uh, let's put it let's not keep it for 
next time let's chain all these nodes together okay now yeah so this is the loop we have to keep seeing the users again and again and even let's not okay that's fine we can we can chain it or we can leave it as it is let's publish our process model and now we will tra try to debug it okay so once debugging the process starts if you see here the user form has user data has started let's fill some dummy values here and we'll check the process like whether it is working fine or not so in name let's keep it something as peter and email we will keep peter uh, peter at the rate email dot com okay if i click on next button you can see here address details is coming and the instance as well got triggered to the address detail part as well okay so two things were done and the city let's see he lives in london and country let's keep it something as uk and if i click on back button you can see again i am getting back to the user data and again if i refresh it or if i keep it as it is it is two instances so like that like uh, we can navigate between multiple uh, interfaces again and again so that's all was there and if any time like the user want to submit the data we can submit the data as well let's submit the let's submit the data for now and we'll see okay so that's it so you can see here i have triggered this as four instances was there for this one and this one as well so and we have submitted the data and all the data like we can see uh, the values have been came here as well so that's all in this video thank you